Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it's dark, it's early, it's Monday morning, and we've got a War of the Visions news video to get to today, including two new vision cards. And I was a little curious what we were going to have this week. We kind of knew that JP already had the Halloween vision card, so we need to see what it's going to be like for global. We're going to get that today. There is a cat in here. Oh, look rare cat spotting right there the cats have moved into the new house with us so they have been all uh, kind of over me and he's gonna make some noise so we'll see if we can get him to like come over here and be quiet anyway okay had to end up letting the cat just out of the room because he was not going to be quiet he was being way too annoying but before we get to this video i do want to mention something if you've ever used my amazon uh, affiliate link to buy amazon coins or literally anything else on amazon it's such a big help to me and other creators when you do that i wanted to show you this page right here this is kind of what amazon's promoting right now with the affiliate link and if you sell a flat amount right like if people buy twelve thousand five hundred dollars worth of anything at all on amazon it could be you know, Yo, Amazon coins for War of the Visions. It could be pins and markers and why am I talking about t-shirt stuff? Anyway, if I get to that mark, mark by the end of October, you can see I just get 500 bucks from Amazon. So hook me up with some of that Jeff Bezos money if you're feeling um, obliged. I'll put a link in the chat that's just a regular Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't need to be Amazon coins. Buy whatever you buy on Amazon, but if you use my link, I get some of that money. And if we can hit that 12,500 mark, it's 500 bucks for me, which would be really, really cool thing to have happen. All right, let's jump into the news here. We do have, as I mentioned, the a cup, the a couple, a couple, whoa, it's dark and early, a couple new vision cards. Uh, we're getting Ultros and the Halloween card. Now we knew the Halloween card was coming and that's the first one we're gonna check out. So Lord of Hallowed Eve. I will do a full preview video on this later, but it is a job card so sword sword or sword warrior sword knight axe and glove equipable jobs you're gonna get luck spirit and agility three things that halloween lucio absolutely wants to have especially the luck and the agility bestowed effect attack up other bestowed effect that was already on the card was the ability vampiric ripper which you can see right here large damage absorbs damage um dealt and raises zone attack and slash resist piercing rate if your own hp is below 50 percent so meant to be a move that scales up as you lose a little bit of hp and heals you very vampiric right but we're also going to get a global exclusive buff halloween lucio getting slash attack attack up and this is good for him i was i from what I've seen of this guy, he's great already. So I was a little scared they might overbuff him. I don't know why, but you know, I was. So there's that card. Then we're also getting Ultros this week. So the hilarious Heptapod Ultros also coming out. Another job based card Sword, Red Mage, Spear, Staff, Devout, uh, Equipable Jobs, Magic Resist Up, Critical Damage Up, Pierce Attack Up. This one comes with the Esper. Attack, Critical Hit Rate Up are the bestowed effects. And then Water Units getting that global buff of max hp up and accuracy rate up so there we go that's what we're picking up for new things this week uh there will also be bingo boards for both of those things ultros getting that three star awakening and that's it for new stuff as far as like releases go into the gotcha so a fairly slow week on that end now other events that are running login bonus fairly standard here we're going to get vision card shards for both new vcs so that's great and then this is probably one of the bigger ones guild chamber unlock all week so the guild chamber is going to be available all week with double drops so if you're starting to run short on gill like what am i at 1.7 billion i know that seems like a lot but you know i it, you know, I never want to hit a billion if I can avoid it. So I'm going to make sure to farm some guild this week. Uh, Chocobo EXP and guild double up campaign as well. And that's it for like bonus campaigns. Still, this guild chamber one, I'm excited that they're not running something else along the guild chamber one. This will allow me and anybody else who wants to just farm guild every week. I think that's a big play. Okay, there is an event happening. Now, this is not one that's going to consume a bunch of your stamina for, uh, that take you away from the guild chamber, but defend the gates of Rundall castle we've had something like this before and then we're also getting another legendary reliquaries so if you remember this like i vaguely remember the last one you're basically fighting waves of enemies the further you get the more points you score the better rewards titles a 
um, et cetera, that comes your way. It is a competitive event. It's a competitive PVE event. So no PVP here. Uh, plenty of PVP already going on with limited guild battles. So defend the gates of Rundall Castle. Uh, let's see here. Obtain rewards by completing the quest missions and earn limited titles by climbing the high score ranking of the Brutal difficulty quest. So you have to play Brutal, aim for the top score in solo quests and multi quests to get yourself a title. Very good there. Um, and you can come in here and read about it a little bit more if you want to. It does give us some info. We're going to be fighting fire and ice element units here. It tells you what they're weak to. Then the bosses. Now, Gilgamesh, you receive a but It says specifically that you receive a bunch of bonus points for defeating Gilgamesh. But there's Setia, Reagan, and Gilgamesh that are bonus point givers. Heo's going to be the first boss. Fire, fire, ice, ice. So really sticking to that fire, ice element. So maybe a team of like water and fire element units yourself, or at least one of those elements to make sure you're getting those bonuses, those bonus points, doing more damage. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. You're going to be able to earn rainbow spheres, fragments of thought, EXP cubes, and nameless heroes memories red. We'll take a look at what the actual prizes are. I mean, they never, one thing more the visions is notorious for is not giving you all of the info in the news, things like banners, things like specific rewards. We often have to wait for the event to come out. Um, okay, this is just info on the, on all that. Now, legendary reliquaries, we're going to get gloves and armor. So I could talk about these in the preview video for this week as well, but this is actually an armor. I think it's our first reliquary item that is a, you know, equipable armor, which is neat. We get that worked into the game and a glove. This is not armor. It is a weapon. So a glove and an armor coming to us this week. Maximilian is the name of the armor. That's pretty cool. So I like that. Great. Talks about reliquaries a little bit. We all know the drill there. Big yard from me. And let's move on to this. Um, had a lot of fun. This, I felt like this championship, uh, official championship last two nights ago now, where Kells won was one of the most fun ones I've casted yet. The um, the teams that Kells faced, especially in the finals from Ram 9, were really unique. And then Kells really showed the power of an Elias strike team, which again, surprising to nobody, but I just want to say congratulations to Kells. And I want to continue to encourage anybody who has ever thought about playing in these things. We do have the one more uh, last chance qualifier. It's the manual last chance qualifier. So if you're interested in that next month, make sure to sign up. Then we have the world championships in December. I'm really hoping we get the 2024 version of the official tournaments as well. And I'm hoping to eventually, and I know you Friday night fights people out there been hearing this for over a year now, but that, that's the kind of time my life, you know, my wife will eventually not work nights anymore. I'll put it like that. At that point, I'd really like to open up the Friday Night Fights tournaments again. Anyway, the PvP scene is alive and well in this game. And if you've ever been like scared of joining, just don't. It's a really great group of people. No one out there is like hardcore going to make fun of you if you suck or anything like that. Just come in, have a good time, and uh, let's keep the PvP scene alive and kicking. Thank you guys for watching this morning. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.